Hello, friend. Welcome. On the screen is our chess project in Android Studio,、uh, written in Kotlin. We haven't we haven't written any code. So in this video, let's try to do the traditional hello world. Oh, there's a hello world here. No, this is just a text. We want to write some code to.、Uh, Output the a, a string or some text on the console, right? The traditional、um, first step of our、uh, programming. Okay, let's change this first. Okay, hello world. Let's change it to hello chess. Well, it's this guy is inside、uh, one of the two important. Um, files created by Android Studio when we created our、um, project. So it's here. Actually, when we open this one, we can see the view. This is the activity, and、uh, it manages the view. This view R dot layout. This is a、uh, uh, like ID activity main is inside here. Under this one, layout, activity main here. So this is the design view. Let's go to the code view. We can modify this guy to chess. Hello, chess.、Uh, the convention is. I think there's a comma here. Okay, let's run it. Yeah, hello chess. Okay, that's not fun. Uh, that's don't worry about that for now. And we'll write some code to output on the bottom console. But where is the console? Is lock cat this guy? Wow, there's so many、um, annoying text. Most of them are from the platform. Okay, so this time let's make it bigger, so we can see more of the output. So we don't want to see this. We want to see our own stuff. Okay, so how can we filter out those things? Let's define a filter to filter out all the system stuff, the output in the on the lock cat. Okay, so we'll define our constant here. Private、um, const value value like tag equals. Let's just use this main activity.、Um, so now we can do something like that. Log dot debug tag tag. The message, okay. Hello, chess, like that. And、uh, here is、uh, how we config this filter thing. Edit filter configuration. Give it a name. So we can give our filter a name. Main activity. So log tag. We can put it here. Main activity. This is the this guy. Okay, we'll filter using this tag. Main activity. Okay. Now let's run it. We should be able to see. Hello, chess. If not, oh yeah. Hello, chess is out. If not,、um, a good solution is restart、uh, Android Studio. Okay, that's annoying, but it works. So if you are waiting here for <laughs> longer than you expected, okay, so it just you can restart the Android Studio. So you should be able to see that. Now let's do some real coding. What about a for loop? Okay. 
So for loop is like that. Um, for example, I in zero dot dot seven inclusive. That's output to the I, okay? Nice. So how can we output the I? We can do this. Let's give it a try. Um, run it. Yes, very good. You see, this is our debug output with this tag and zero to seven. Cool. So we can click this one to clear it. Okay. Now what? If we want to do something like that, i equals i. Okay, now try it again. Oh, that make it a little bit smaller to save some space. So that's the for loop in Kotlin. Kotlin zero i equals zero i equals one. Okay, now let's introduce the if else stuff. Okay, so what if we only output the even number? Okay, so we can do if I even number, right? Modulo two, the remainder is zero. Even number. Um, that try it again for loop loop and uh, if else right branching is the most important thing in coding here yes zero two four six that's great We'll stop here. See you next time. Thank you for watching.